You've probably heard it whispered in locker rooms at the barber shop or even growing up in your own household. Masturbation will make you weak. You'll go blind. It'll ruin your sex life. But let me ask you, if almost every man on the planet does it, how on earth could those scary stories possibly be true? Hi, I'm Dr. Melinda, a board-certified urologist with over 10 years of experience helping men protect not just their sexual health, but their dignity, energy, and confidence. And today, I'm going to do something that I know a lot of men secretly wish a doctor would finally do. I'm going to separate fact from fiction and walk you through the six biggest myths about masturbation that I hear from men over 40 every single day. But before we jump in, let me ask you something fun. Where are you watching from today? Drop your country or city in the comments below. I always love to see just how many men from around the world are taking their health into their own hands. And if you want more straight-talking, judgment-free health advice for men over 40, hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss a video. All right, let's set the record straight. Here's the reality. Masturbation is one of the most normal, natural, and biologically safe things you can do for yourself. In fact, over 90% of men and around 75% of women report doing it regularly. Why? Because your body was designed with a built-in system for pleasure and release. When you masturbate, your brain floods with dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, and endorphins, the same feel-good chemicals that boost your mood, help you sleep, lower stress, and even sharpen your focus. Biologically, it's the ultimate form of safe sex. No risk of disease, no risk of pregnancy, no pressure from performance anxiety, just you learning how your body works. So let's stop carrying around shame and myths that were planted generations ago. Instead, let's walk through the six most common lies men are told about masturbation and uncover the empowering truth. Before I count them down, let me share why I care so much about this. For the past decade, I've sat across from thousands of men, men in their 40s, 50s, even 70s, who come into my office embarrassed, nervous, sometimes whispering as if they're confessing a crime. But here's what I always tell them. Your body isn't broken, and you don't have to feel ashamed about taking care of yourself. I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to give you the tools, the science, and the reassurance so you can live with confidence. All right, let's dive into the six myths. And I promise, by the time we're done, you'll never look at masturbation with the same fear again. Myth number one, masturbation will make you go blind or grow hair on your palms. You've heard this one since childhood, right? But let's use a little common sense. If 90% of men do it, wouldn't we all be walking around with white canes and furry hands? Biologically, there is zero evidence that masturbation damages your eyesight or changes your skin. This myth started centuries ago, usually by people trying to scare young men away from sexual curiosity. The truth? Masturbation doesn't harm your eyes, your hands, or your health, period. Myth number two, masturbation causes erectile dysfunction. This one really worries men over 40 because let's be honest, erections are a big part of feeling like yourself but here's the science. Masturbation actually strengthens your pelvic floor muscles, the very muscles that control blood flow and rigidity in your erections. Think of it like exercise for your sex life. The real problem isn't masturbation, it's pornography overuse. When you constantly overstimulate your brain with extreme, unrealistic images, your body can get desensitized to real-life intimacy. That can lead to performance anxiety and erection trouble. So the problem isn't the act itself. It's how you're doing it. Use masturbation as practice, not as an escape, and it can actually improve your erections. Myth number three, too much masturbation kills sensitivity. Some men tell me, doc, I just don't feel as much anymore. And they're terrified that they've used up their nerves. The truth, you can't wear out your nerves like old car tires. What can happen is habit conditioning. If you always stimulate yourself the same exact way, with too much pressure, speed, or a device your partner can't replicate, your body adapts. Then, when the sensation changes during intimacy, your brain feels off. The solution isn't to quit, it's to switch it up. Use techniques that mimic real intimacy. Go gentler, slower, or vary the rhythm. Your sensitivity isn't gone, it just needs retraining. Myth number four. Masturbation is harmful if you do it too often. Now, this one is tricky. 
For the majority of men, even daily masturbation is perfectly fine. In fact, it can relieve stress, help sleep, and even reduce prostate discomfort in some cases. The problem arises when it interferes with life. If you're skipping work, avoiding intimacy with your partner, or feeling out of control, that's when it becomes an issue. That's not too much masturbation. That's a compulsion. So here's the rule. If it adds to your life, it's healthy. If it steals from your life, it's time to cut back. Myth number five, masturbation means you have a bad relationship. I can't tell you how many men have whispered this one to me, almost in guilt. Doc, if I touch myself, does that mean I don't love my wife anymore? Absolutely not. Many healthy, loving couples include solo sex as part of their lives, sometimes even together. It's not a reflection of how much you care, but rather a natural expression of your body's rhythm. In fact, knowing your own body often makes you a better partner because you can communicate what feels good and be more relaxed in intimacy. Myth number six, masturbation lowers testosterone. This myth is as old as ancient Greece. Even athletes were told to avoid sex before competitions because they thought it drained their strength. But modern science shows the opposite. During arousal and orgasm, your testosterone briefly increases, then returns to normal baseline. It doesn't deplete your hormones, it doesn't make you weaker, and it doesn't lower your long-term testosterone levels. So no, masturbation will not rob you of your masculinity. So what should you actually do with all this information? listen to your body. If masturbation feels good and doesn't interfere with your responsibilities, it's healthy. Cut back on porn. If you notice you need stronger and stranger stimulation to get aroused, that's a sign to reset. Switch techniques. Don't train your body into one hyper-specific routine. Keep it varied and realistic. Check your guilt. If shame is eating at you, talk to a professional. Remember, mental stress is often the real problem. Talk openly with your partner. Honest communication turns solo sex from a secret into a healthy part of your intimacy. Let me be clear. There is nothing broken about you if you masturbate. You're not weak. You're not dirty. You're not abnormal. You're human. As men, society puts a huge burden on us to perform, to stay strong, to never show vulnerability. But intimacy isn't about perfection. It's about connection. And learning about your own body is one of the most powerful ways to show up fully for yourself and for the people you love. So the next time someone tries to scare you with old myths, remember, your health is in your hands, literally. Age does not mean the end of vitality. In fact, with a few small shifts, less porn, more variety, open conversations, you can protect your erections, your energy, and your confidence for years to come. If you found this video helpful, Hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with a friend who could use some reassurance today. And tell me in the comments, did any of these myths surprise you? Which one have you heard the most? I'm Dr. Melinda, reminding you, take care of yourself because you are absolutely worth it.